Hello, Gareth here, and welcome to my glorious studio. I hope you like it. So anyway, in this lesson, we're going to paint this scene, which is, um, I'm looking at it on my computer screen. And um, I went on a family trip to a place called Miyazaki. And on the way back at evening time, I saw this amazing view from the um, rear window of the car and luckily took this photo and um, this is probably the best picture I took from the whole trip but I especially like these kind of silhouette scenes and if you've seen any of my other paintings those are the scenes that I tend to paint they're probably the easiest as well. But anyway, I think that's about all I want to say. Now I'm going to show you the finished painting. And then after that, you can see me painting the picture. What I'm going to do in this video is speed it up and add some music. So if you like that, then let me know. And if you don't like that and you want me to do it like real time, and with my amazing commentary. <laughs> I don't know how you feel about my commentary, but if you would like me to do it with commentary, then, then I can also do that. And at the very end, which you can just skip ahead to, I will do a brief review of the painting and just talk about things that I liked things that maybe I didn't like. There were a few things in the painting, well at least one thing that I wasn't super happy about. And um, also I'll show you some other versions I've done. A bit of a smaller size, but I did about three other paintings that were a smaller size and I will show you them because um, I think they're better than the one I did here and they're all slightly different which I think well it's interesting for me and hopefully it will be interesting for you. So let's begin.
Hello, I'm back. So I hope you enjoyed watching the painting process. And here is the final painting. So one of the problems I had, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the uh, paper was um, undulating or buckling. So I did wet the back of it and then stretch it out and put some clips on it. But I still think you can see slight dips in the surface. Anyway, so apart from that, what do I think about this painting? Overall, I'm very happy with it. So I think the weakest thing is the sky. So I don't think the sky is particularly good. And when you see some of the other versions I've done, I think you'll understand why I'm not so happy with this sky. I think it's passable, but I'm not super happy with it. Um, it the clouds need to be a bit softer. Maybe the orange needs to be a bit stronger. Maybe that white bit is it's too much of a big broad white band. So maybe one side of that could be like a bit more like yellow or something like that. I'm not too sure. Just I'm not I'm not happy with it. So I would change that in the next version I do whenever that will be, <laughs> if ever. But um, so that's the sky. The road I'm really happy with. I love the texture of the road. I love the lines. I think that works really well. I'm super happy with the car. I like the glowing white lights. I like the windscreen. So I think that's pretty good. And then with the trees and the sign and the wires. I like I like that as well. I think that's very, very good. I like that touch of orange in the uh, trees, just to the left of the car. If I was going to change anything, I would make the trees behind the car, which are in the distance, more of a lighter blue color. I would exaggerate that. And then I think, that would be much better. And I'm really happy with the um, the barrier, whatever it is, by the side of the road and also the fence. I think, I think that really makes the painting work. And, and also the lines on the road, the, especially that one on the right, the shape of that line is just so beautiful. I, I love it. And I think it really makes this painting work. It's a very small thing, a very small thing, but it, it has a big, a big impact. And, and yeah, so I think that's everything I've covered there. So let's look at another painting I did. So this one, I think maybe is the best one of them all. So this one is slightly smaller than the previous painting. I think the sky is really good in this one and I think that little bit of yellow in the distance behind the trees is what makes this painting work and this sky is much better than the previous one. You know, keep it simple, right? Just a little bit of yellow in one corner, one bit of the sky that leads the eye in and, and that's basically going to give you a much better image, right? I I think this painting is more atmospheric. I think the, the sign and the trees just look really good. The road, the road texture is beautiful. The car is good. I like the shape of that and the tree on the right hand side. Maybe the, the barrier thing is not quite so great, but it's still okay. But I love this painting because of that yellow bit of sky behind the car. I think that that is magical. I also love that patch of cloud or whatever it is in the sky. I think that that looks really good. Just the, the dry brush texture, completely accidental and just very lucky. And 
I hope I could just reproduce that if I wanted to, but I'm not sure if I could, but I love it. And I love that reddy cloud, whatever it is below, and the bit of blue in it. So that bit of blue, which probably is completely wrong, I just added that and I knew it would be wrong, but I just thought it would look good. And I think it does. I think it looks interesting and it adds to the emotional feel of the painting. That's my little bit of pretentiousness there, but I think that's true. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Yep, so same scene, but very different feeling, right? There's something more crisp about this painting, even though the sky is very soft. So that sky, not as good as the previous one, but the texture on the road, I love it. I mean, it's overkill, but I think it's great. I love the car windscreen. I think that's amazing. I think the car headlights really look like real headlights. They've just got that brightness and softness. Again, I love the lines on the surface of the road and the surface of the road is just wonderful. The texture of the trees and that is pretty good. I've got that little bit of light blueness um, in the background behind the car, which is what I wanted. Um, but I think I should have done smaller trees there, but I'm happy that I did have that light blueness there, but I didn't have some orangey glowing tree in this one, but I still think it's quite good. But the previous painting was better, I think. Just the mood of the previous painting was, was just really, really good. And then the final one, hopefully you're not, you're not like snoring at this point. But the final one, yeah, I like this one too. There's some nice colour in the um, trees in the background. And I like the contrast between the, the fir tree on the right hand side and those on the left hand side. But we don't have such a powerful silhouette effect. Again, I think the car looks pretty good. That windscreen is really... Yeah, it's really happening. <laughs> it's a bit wild that, but I love it. And the surface of the road is fantastic. I love the textures. So I'm really happy with that. The sky is a little bit disappointing for me. Um, I think that touch of orange at the bottom is nice, but I just think the bit above that I don't know if I need to make it a bit softer, maybe add red, a red wash over the top of it, which would be very dramatic, but it could look really good. But something, something needs to happen with the sky. It's passable, but it's not, it's not great. And those wires that go across the top of the painting, yeah, I, I pat myself on the back for having the courage to do that. But sadly, I think I didn't do it very well. So that's why in the other paintings, this may have been the first one actually, even though I'm showing it last of all. Sorry guys, that's just the way it is, you know, a bit messed up. But maybe that's why in the other paintings, you, you don't see any wires because Maybe in this painting I had a go, it messed up and I thought I'm not going to spoil the painting right at the end by trying to do that because that would be a bit depressing. It would get me down if you can understand that, right? Because if you do a really nice painting, you almost finish it and then at the end you try and paint three thin lines and you mess it up and spoil the whole painting then it's pretty um, depressing. So I played it safe. I don't like to play it safe. I think it's always good to push it, but there's areas where you push forward and be a bit adventurous. And then I think there's areas where you think, no, the risk is too high. And that's where I thought the risk was too high. Anyway, that was my commentary. I really hope you enjoyed it. 
and I will be back soon with another watercolour painting lesson.